The TML Explode Surface is a great macro for giving you the ability to edit a surface that's been imported into Business Center from a Land XML file or a TTM file. You can see here in this particular case, this is a Land XML file I imported, and the surfaces have some flags, and I need to edit those. So without any of the original line work that was used to build this, I basically have an object, and that object is made up of a series of triangles, and I really need to edit the individual line segments. Or maybe they came back and did a design change and raised a certain elevation of one of the uh, areas uh, of your surface, and you need to be able to manipulate those. So this is a great tool to be able to quickly edit this information. So if you take the surface um, and explode it, you'll have the lines. I've already downloaded the macro and installed it and opened up Business Center and then imported in this Land XML file. And you can see I've got the explode surface command here. So when I select that, it's going to ask you for the surface to pick. So I'm just going to uh, select that surface as one I want to explode. It's going to ask you to put it on a layer. So you can go ahead and create a layer if you want to place the data on a layer. I'm just going to leave it on layer zero for now. I'll click OK. And you'll see what happens is it creates the line. So I'm going to turn off that surface. So I'm just going to come in here and toggle the visibility of that surface off. And if we take a look, let's say up in this area, if you do a window, there's actual a point there. And that point there you can see has an X, Y, and a Z. And so let's say that they told you that now this particular location, instead of it being 719, it should be 720. So if I make it 720 and raise it, now I've just elevated that particular point. Um, I can also just come in here and take this data and build a surface out of it. So if I was to come back in, create a surface, um, we'll select the members on, let's say, layer zero here, and we'll click close, and I'll click OK, and now I have a surface there. So now, again, if I was to come in and manipulate this point and change its properties, let's say I make it 725, you'll see that it updates the surface and updates the triangles. I could even move it in a... A horizontal direction or as well. So if I wanted to use the move command in here, I could come in and uh, select the move command and pick this individual point and go from this point maybe over to here. And you'll see that it moves the lines connected with that point as well as the point itself. So it, the lines of the triangles are connected to the point. So you'd want to edit uh, the point if, if need be. Um, you can see over here, if we did the editing, um, I have no more flags, and now I have a good surface that I can use to send out to my machine.